10 mistakes you miss in the Pixar's Luca movie. Pixar's Luca, the beautiful animated movie of the summer, focus around the life of an Italian kid called Luca. Luca is definitely the most enthusiastic and fascinating animated movie of this year, and one of the best projects of Pixar so far. Directed by the former short film director La Luna and Rico Casarosa, Luca is such a passionate film because of its summer vibe in an Italian town located in the Italian Riviera, a town full of light, warmth, and vibrance where Luca and Alberto embark themselves in an adventure to find their most wished and beloved object, a Vespa. Luca first starts with a little sea fish called Luca Faguro at the bottom of the sea, who is filled with excitement to know more about the human world. This excitement is constantly shut down by his mom, who fears that he would be harmed in the surface. He promises to his mom to never get close to the surface ever again, and immediately after this, he finds more objects from the surface that inevitably fuel his interest for the human world. One day, while he's on the edge between the ocean and land, he finds a boy called Alberto, who is somewhat of a pro in the human world. He's out of the water all the Tom and even has a tree house close to the coast. He gets Luca out of the water with a fishing rod, Luca turns into a human, and from here, him and Alberto, who presents himself as Alberto's Corfano, become super friends. Alberto shows Luca his tree house in the human world, and here, he sees the poster of a Vespa. He falls in love at first sight with the Vespa, and from here, him and Alberto get into a full-scale adventure in the Italian town of Porto Rosso in search for their dream Vespa. Now, Luca's beautiful and one of the best movies made by Pixar, no doubt about that, but just like every single movie, it's not perfect, and there are a pretty good amount of mistakes that don't make any sense in it, mistakes that you probably didn't notice in the movie while watching it, mistakes that were either made on purpose or just pure design or production fails. So without further ado, let's get straight into the 10 mistakes you missed in Luca. Let's go! At the beginning of the movie, we see that Luca's living a boring life in the ocean, but Luca, being the fidgety kid that he is, he wants more for his life. Then, he finds objects from the human world, from when Alberto had the scuffle with the fishermen at the start of the movie. This makes him more interested in the human world and wants to know more about it. Now, up until this point, all of this is happening in the water, and Luca and his family are sea monsters. The only one that has come out of the water and changed his form is Alberto and Luca's grandma, from what we know. So they've always had this form underwater. In the water, we see that Luca, his family, and Alberto are all adapted to the sea world to be able to breathe in it like normal fishes. They have scales, they have tails, and they have nostrils from which the water enters, the oxygen is dissolved, and exerted as carbon monoxide just like fishes do. Up until here, everything makes sense, but there is a biological mistake made in the movie as far as the transformation into human goes. Like I said, their bodies are adapted to the ocean with the same body parts as fishes to be able to live underwater. But when Alberto pulls Luca out of the water, when they're in the edge between the water and the surface to show him how he Will turn into a human, Luca turns into a human and notices that he can breathe outside of the water just like humans do. But this is only because he transformed into a human because of the special trait that he has as a sea monster. But here, there is a loophole in the story. When they're touched by water in the human world, they turn into fishes in the human world, like in the end of the movie during the race, yet they're still able to breathe in the human world even as sea fishes. This doesn't make any sense. This is absolutely inconsistent, mainly because their scales, fins, and gills are designed for the water and can only make them breathe underwater, not outside. It would be like a fish being able to breathe on the surface, it doesn't make any sense. Yet, in the scene of the race, they transform into fishes but can still breathe outside. This would be like him being able to breathe underwater in his human form, which he can't do because he doesn't have the ability and doesn't have the human body designed to live underwater. Yet, it works perfectly fine the other way around. Now, I know that this is for the sake of the storyline, them turning into fishes in the human world was the best option, but from a biological standpoint, this doesn't make any sense. Luca's fascinated by the human world once he sees it for the first time and becomes a human. But he has an advantage. He can turn into a fish whenever he wants. So him and Alberto jump into the water to have some fun with the incredible trait of being able to turn into humans and back into fishes again. This scene is one of the most beautiful scenes of the movie because it represents the fun they both have in that beautiful warm summer in the Italian coast of the Riviera, while the amazing music is playing in the background, making it even more beautiful. Now, this is a beautiful scene, but it has a big mistake that you probably didn't notice. Throughout the movie, we see many scenes where Luke and Alberto have to stay away from the water because if they were touched by it, they would turn into sea monsters. And when they're touched by water, they have to wipe the water away or dry themselves to turn into humans again. This process of drying each other is not instant. They have to wait for them to turn into humans again. And we see it in many scenes during the movie like when Luca dries Alberto with a towel. But if we look at this scene that I just showed you where they're jumping in and out of the water, the change from human to fish is instant. They don't have to wait some time for the water to dry out or dry themselves out with a towel, for example. They're 
instantly transforming from fishes back into humans and vice versa. So why is this like this in this scene only and whenever they're touched by water in other scenes they have to dry themselves out to return back to their human version. Like when Luca spits water at Alberto and the cat Machiavelli sees them. We can see how Alberto's side doesn't change into a human and Luca has to literally wipe the water off to go back to the human side. Just like in the previous scene, it is a very inconsistent thing that doesn't make any sense when you actually notice it. Luca and Alberto eventually get into a fight because Luca wants to go to Julia's school and learn about the human world and their sciences. Alberto tells him that he will never be accepted as soon as they know that he's a sea monster. Eventually, Alberto starts getting jealous of the relationship between Luca and Julia and decides to cut it off by revealing himself as a sea monster. Here, Luca, instead of revealing himself as a sea monster too, he acts scared and Alberto leaves with his heart broken. From this event, the two best friends split and Luca tells Alberto that he will be going to the race alone and win the Vespa to ride in like the always dreamed of. The dream is still alive for Luca. During the bike race though, a big problem for Luca happens. It starts raining. So Luca takes shelter on the side because if he's touched by water, he will turn into a sea monster in front of everyone. Luca's waiting for the rain to stop in the side when all of a sudden Alberta comes running towards Luca with an umbrella. Now, here's where the big mistake lies. Do you remember when Luca spit water at Alberto's face and his face turned into a sea fish? Well, by this rule, we can understand that any drop of water will turn Luca and Alberto's pot into a fish. But when we go back to the scene when Alberto's running with the umbrella and it's raining the ground is wet so technically taking into account the previous scenes his feet should be turning into a sea fish but it's walking normally without turning into a sea fish it's not until Ercole Visconti pushes him to the side that he turns into a fish and is discovered but this shouldn't be happening like this the story is very inconsistent with some things and very consistent with others throughout the entire movie any drop of water has turned both guys into fishes so in this scene because the ground is wet by the rain Alberto's feet should have been changing into a fish, but they're not. He's walking normally like a human. If we go back to the boat scene while Alberto is touched by a little bit of water, his whole body changes. So judging by all the scenes, Alberto's feet should be turning into sea fishes, but they're not. So during the night, Julia gives them a tree house to sleep in for the night. In the morning, Luke and Alberto wake up as sea monsters and they panic because they think that somebody has seen them, but thankfully nobody besides the cat Machiavelli saw them. Now if we look at this scene at face value and don't bother to look deep into it, nobody has seen them, that's all. But there are two big mistakes in this scene. The first one is that Luke and Alberto are sea fishes and they were born as such. So in theory, they would have to feel the water of the rain at night and not wake up knowing that they've changed form. Plus, going back to the mistake that I told you earlier, this doesn't make any sense because they wouldn't be able to breathe with those bodies in the surface Yet they are and they're sleeping normally The second big mistake is that we think that nobody saw them as sea fishes But this may not be true because if we look at the next scene when Luke and Alberto are talking to Julia's dad If we look deep into the background, we see a woman out in the balcony of her house This woman's balcony is positioned exactly at the front of Julia's tree house where Luke and Alberto had been sleeping So if this woman was out in the balcony in this scene, she was also out in the morning when Luke and Alberto were sleeping so she must have seen the two boys turning into sea monsters maybe she just freaked out alone without telling anybody but this is a big mistake that you definitely didn't see in the movie Another scene, Luca's mom turns into messy mode and starts kicking everyone into the water with a ball. Now, this doesn't seem weird or like any mistake is happening here, but if we zoom into the background in the same scene, we see a sign that says no footballs allowed. Yet Luca's mom is playing with a football like she's on a soccer field and nobody's telling her anything. We have to remember that there is cops in the town. We saw them on the scene where they're warning people about sea monsters seen nearby the town. And also, in another scene before this one, when Luca first enters the town of Puerto Rosso, we see that there are kids playing with a ball in the background with no problem. So this is a clear contradiction and mistake that doesn't make any sense. But this doesn't take away the fact that the movie is awesome and the greatest animated movie of the summer. So that doesn't matter, okay? And well, that's it my boys. That's all the dose of DJ there is for today, my guys. I really hope you liked the video and liked all of these mistakes in Pixar's Luca. Like I said, they're just petty mistakes that don't take away anything from the movie. The movie is still awesome to watch. So if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one, my boys. Peace!